Welcome to Space 70 Jane Russell. This park model has seen some major improvements over the last three years. There are new argon filled double pane windows, new water lines under the home, and many other improvements outside and in. The home is located against the east wall in the Sun Vista RV Resort in Yuma, Arizona. The driveway is concrete. At the end of the driveway is the shed. There are sunscreens over the windows in the Arizona room. The shed is 12 feet by 10 and wired. On the right are the steps leading up to the raised deck behind the home. The deck is constructed of Trex, a man-made composite board. The outdoor furnishings include table with inlaid tile and four chairs. There is also a table umbrella. The backyard has a view of the desert southwest and the foothill mountains to the east. This is a private setting to enjoy the sunrise or even the moonrise. There is a barbecue on its own cabinet. Looking across the deck you can see the side of the shed and on the left is the back door leading into the home. To the left of the back door is a wall mounted propane on demand hot water heater. Continuing left from this vantage point at the far side of the deck you're looking down to the ground level. Notice the solid wood fence that encloses the yard. These are the back steps that descend into the lower yard. The surface is covered with Mexican bricks. Ahead is a 2017 Carrier heat pump air conditioner. To the right and behind the fencing is a ZEP brand water softener. This is a peek at the water softener from above. Returning to the front of the home, this is the entry door off the driveway. Entering the home, you can see that the flooring is ceramic tile. This is the Arizona room, which is used as the living room. Looking around the room, the walls are paneled in a wood planking and decorated in a country motif. The living room is fully insulated and inducted for heat. This is a glimpse at the ceiling fan. To my left is a full bank of windows for plenty of light. Notice that the walls are wainscoted. The furnishings are two new fabric upholstered recliners and a cabinet lab table in between. Beyond the sitting area, there is plenty of room for an office or a hobby area, but these furnishings are not part of the sale. At the far end of the room is an exit door to the deck. On the right is a barn door on a track that closes off the bedroom. To the left of the back door is a half bath. It has a toilet, pedestal sink, light fixtures above a mirrored medicine chest, and behind the door a four shelf cupboard. Looking back across the living room, on the left is a wall mounted 50 inch high sense television. It has speakers in the front making it easier to hear. Below is a natural wood console table with a country appeal. At the far end of the room and to the right of the entry door is a laundry nook. Ahead is the laundry sign, blackboard, washboard, and galvanized containers. Notice the hanging lantern style light fixture. This is a new full size propane washer and dryer. Across from the appliances are galvanized tubs for holding your laundry. Entering the full-size dining room, there is wood laminate flooring in the dining room and kitchen. Ahead is a farmhouse solid wood dining table and six solid wood chairs. The windows are covered with cordless blackout cellular shades. There is the ceiling fan and lights. Moving left towards the corner, there is a freestanding rustic hutch. The hutch forms a wall hiding the refrigerator. This is a view with my back to the kitchen looking into the dining room. There is also a 24 inch leaf to extend the table. Now with my back to the dining table, you can see into the open kitchen. This fully remodeled kitchen has been thoroughly updated. The cabinets are solid oak. Looking up, you can see the recessed lighting above the work area. This is a Frigidaire built-in microwave, 
All the appliances are black stainless steel. To the left of the stack of drawers is a Frigidaire 5 burner propane stove. There's a stainless steel double sink with new faucets. Notice the backsplash of glass tiles that covers the wall from the countertops to the bottom of the upper cabinets. To the left of the sink is a dishwasher. Looking back from the dishwasher, there is the Samsung French door refrigerator with water and ice dispenser. It has the two lower pull-out freezer drawers. The reverse osmosis system is installed through the water dispenser. There is a floor-to-ceiling pantry to the left of the fridge. To the left of the pantry is a broom and linen closet with mirrored closet doors. Entering the main bathroom, the flooring is ceramic tile. Ahead is a step-in shower, which has glass, frosted, and etched sliding doors. There is a safety grab bar. There are two handheld shower heads. The larger one is called a rain shower head. In the center of the screen, in white, is a tall medicine chest above the toilet. These are the decorative lights above the mirror. The mirror has a heavy bronze frame. Notice the new faucets at the sink and the vanity below in white. Entering the bedroom, the flooring is carpeted. With both a footboard and a headboard, this is a queen size Americana iron bed. To the right are floor to ceiling cupboards and beyond are the closets with mirrored doors. Above the bed on both sides are upper cabinets with a display shelf between. Looking up is the ceiling fan and lights. On both sides of the bed are wooden nightstands. This nightstand has a western lamp sitting on it. Looking back from the head of the bed there is a 32 inch television. To the right of the TV is a sliding barn door that leads out into the living room. That's the end of the tour. Please go directly to our website. Click on the Sales tab and look for Space 70. There you will find a photo slideshow and a written detailed list of the features. Also, please stay tuned for more information to follow. Thank you for watching. Find more details, including price and availability, on the svparkmodels.com website. Our website provides information about the Sun Vista RV Resort and its facilities. The website includes a map of the park, details of the park models that are for sale or for rent, and detailed answers to the most frequently asked questions about one of the finest RV resorts in Yuma, Arizona. Be sure to check out our website, and you'll be glad you did. Thank you for watching.